Agent Smith is one of the most iconic movie villains in history. Unlike your stereotypical movie villains, whose intentions are born from lust, greed, or power, Smith was guided by pure hate. His motivations are more philosophical than literal. Smith did not divulge his true plans through his actions. To understand Smith, we must study his words as well as his actions carefully. And maybe, we will discover what exactly he wanted to accomplish. His goal went far beyond just conquering the Matrix or finding a purpose or a reason to live. It goes much further. Would you like to know what motivated this iconic agent? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Before we begin today's video, we would like to announce our first official giveaway for our subscribers. We will be raffling a copy of the Matrix Comics 20th Anniversary Edition, an anthology of all published Matrix comic book stories, some written by the Matrix creators themselves, the Wachowskis. All you have to do to win is be a subscriber to this channel, leave a like on this video, and leave a comment on who is your favorite Matrix character and why. The winner will be announced on August 29th, 2020. Thank you for the support and enjoy today's video. It is virtually impossible to comprehend Agent Smith without his counterpart, Neo. Neo and Smith are opposites, not only in their motivations, but in their philosophies. For Smith, it is destiny. Each failing brings him, according to the agent, closer to his purpose. For Neo, purpose or destiny does not exist. Neo told Morpheus that he did not like the idea of destiny because it meant that he had no control over his life. In Matrix Reloaded, Smith talks about how without a purpose, they would not exist. There is no escaping reason, no denying purpose, because as we both know, without purpose, we would not exist. This philosophy of purpose is one that is shared by all programs in the Matrix. As Sati's father once explained to Neo, every program must have a purpose, or it will be deleted. The Oracle explained to Neo that the moment he destroyed Smith, he created a negative version of himself. Agent Smith is his opposite, his negative, a result of the system trying to balance itself. Smith is driven by his hatred towards humanity. Neo is motivated by his love for Trinity. Neo discovers the world outside of the simulation, that humans can live outside of the Matrix. Smith seeks the opposite, and here lies the agent's true goal. He began to assimilate other agents, even the Oracle herself. Smith not only wished to keep humanity enslaved, but also became a slaver of the machines. Neo symbolizes freedom, Smith symbolizes oppression. The first step in Smith's grand plan is to assimilate the Matrix completely, all the programs and humans connected to the simulation. At the end of Matrix Revolutions, Smith had managed to assimilate nearly all programs and humans in the simulation. Mega City was a nightmare. It was no coincidence that it was raining during the final confrontation between these two enemies. The rain symbolized the falling of the Matrix code. Neo and Smith are fighting for the simulation. Now then, Smith had managed to assimilate almost everyone in the Matrix. All that remained was Neo. Smith broke free from the architect's control. This is the first time that a second integral anomaly occurred in the Matrix. This unprecedented occurrence led the machines to make a deal with Neo to stop him. But why? Couldn't the machines just reset the Matrix and thus erase Agent Smith? The issue with Smith is that he can not only infect the people and programs in the Matrix, but he has also found a way to infect the people in the real world. Every human who was connected to the Matrix had their mind replaced with Smith's consciousness, and anyone from the real world who enters the Matrix runs the risk of getting infected, just like what happened to Bane. If those humans were to be liberated, Hundreds, if not millions of Smiths would roam the Earth. Smith would infect the people of Zion, all human survivors. 
enslaving everyone. That was his plan. Smith didn't want to destroy humanity, the machines, or the Matrix. He wanted full control of everything, the simulation, and the real world. This changes everything, because until now, the machines allowed humans the freedom to think for themselves. In a way, they respected the individualism of their creators. They could have taken control over their minds, but didn't. The Matrix is a prison, a covered up lie. But after the events of Matrix Revolutions, they would give the humans the option to either stay in the simulation or leave. Smith would not have allowed anyone to be free. For him, his destiny was to enslave and control everything. Neo wanted to free everyone. This is why the baby-faced looking swarm of droids known as Deus Ex Machina allowed Neo to enter the Matrix from the Machine City. Deus Ex Machina is the center interface of Machine City. Neo was of course the only one who could face Agent Smith with less risk of infection. But Smith managed to assimilate him. But then why did he disintegrate it after he assimilated the one? Smith is the creation of the equation rebalancing. Smith and Neo share the same code, but in reverse. Think of it as yin and yang. They're the same, but opposite. When Smith assimilated Neo, Deus Ex Machina sent an electrical discharge to Neo's body. This discharge destroyed Neo's code. Once Neo was destroyed, so was his opposite. Smith cannot exist without the integral anomaly. He is Neo's shadow, his mirrored self. Only after Agent Smith is destroyed can the Matrix be rebooted. And it was. Without a doubt, in those final moments of Matrix revolutions, Neo saved the lives of all humans and machines. The machines lost control over Agent Smith and the Matrix itself after Smith spread his virus. And Neo became the subsequent antivirus. Now this opens the door to another possibility. Remember that Smith possessed Bane in the real world and infected most, if not all those connected to the Matrix. If just one of those infected people was disconnected from the Matrix before Smith was erased, well, you know what would happen. He could be alive and well, hiding somewhere in the real world, in the body of a human or even a machine. Which brings us to Matrix 4. If the Matrix equation created Neo and Smith, and it is an endless repeatable cycle, we should theoretically see Smith again. We already have a logical and probable explanation for his potential survival after Matrix revolutions, hiding inside the body of a human or machine, completely justifying his return. This could be one of the biggest plot reveals in Matrix 4. The new Neo has no powers and does not remember who he was because Deus Ex Machina erased his code. But if Smith does return, who is the only one that can stop him? Another point is how we interpret Smith's end based on his philosophy of purpose. Smith's purpose was to be Neo's nemesis, his opposite. Without one, the other can't exist. Like Batman and the Joker. A perfect example of this is the Batman graphic novel The Dark Knight Returns. When Batman disappeared, the Joker lost his will to live. He was borderline catatonic. The element that gave him purpose in life was Batman. Based on his words towards Neo, Smith's purpose was to fight him. The equation trying to balance itself. The moment that Smith assimilated Neo, it lost its purpose. But perhaps, his possible return is a result of Neo coming back from the dead. But do you agree? Do you believe that Smith's true goal was to infect all humans and machines? To be in control of the Matrix and the real world? Do you think he's still alive and will return in Matrix 4? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.